Hi, I'm Mitch Clark. I'm a sports acupuncturist at South Barra Spine and Sports Medicine. And I'm doing this video today to speak to you about anterior head carriage. Now, anterior head carriage is that head and shoulders position you get from sitting at a computer. The shoulders are slunched forward and the neck goes out straight. So from the side, you look a bit like this, the head coming out over the shoulders. Now, ideally, our shoulders will be back our head will be tall, so the earlobe is sitting over the top of the shoulders. With anterior head carriage, it compresses the space between the vertebra through the neck, and it compresses the thoracic outlet, where the nerves from the thoracic spine come out through to the arms, which can cause chest pain, stomach pain, arm pain. So what I'm going to show you is a few stretching techniques, a few strengthening exercises to correct this posture when it does happen. Stretch is a static pec stretch. So you're going to do it on the floor with your shoulder at 90 degrees, your elbow at 90 degrees, and rolling off the floor away from that arm, feeling the stretch through the pec at the front of the chest. Should look like this. The next stretch is to strengthen the back to help you sit up tall or stand up tall. You'll need a resistance band. Loop it around your feet, point your toes so it doesn't come up and hit you in the face. Back up tall and pinching the shoulder blades together. You will bend your elbows a little bit doing this, but it's not an exercise for your biceps, so focus on pinching the shoulder blades together at the back. The last exercise I'm going to show you isn't much of an exercise at all. You won't burn a single calorie doing it and you can do it while watching TV or sitting on the couch or doing anything else. Uh, but what it will do is strengthen the muscles either side of your spine, the erector spinae or paraspinal muscles, uh, to prevent the head from drooping forward. All you need to do is lie on your stomach and look forwards, like this. You can use your elbows to support you. Just make sure that your chin is up and facing forward. If you've got any questions about today's video or any suggestions for future videos, you can leave a comment in the comment section or email me at mitch at syssm.com.au. Uh, if you want more information on uh, anterior head carriage or any other sort of neck and thoracic injuries, you can check out my blog uh, at syssmacupuncture.com dot com dot au